Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether y'all are watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am stoked y'all are here. Real quickly, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the channel members, and thanks to any of you guys or gals who popped in here to check out my knife, my EDC content. I truly appreciate it. If you're so inclined, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. It really helps me out. Today is going to kind of be an experiment video, something that I've never really done, but something that I'm really curious to try, and I think I have the right size here. These are some Skiff Workshop Thick Washers. So what these are, are these are phosphorus bronze washers that are designed to replace your bearings if you want to run your bearing knife like this McNeese Mac 2 on washers. So that's going to be our project for today. We're going to take it apart and we're going to use our T8 screw. Let me make sure it's a T8. Yep. And that is my get good screwdriver. Make sure it's an A. Yep. Get my get good screwdriver and put a lot of pressure going down. These are really, really nice body screws, deep, deep heads, but I do like to push down and give it a lot of direct pressure and they screw into the actual scales of the knife. So we are going to now Get this side a turn. It might be the wrong side. I don't know if I'm going at it from the right side. Yeah, I took the pivot out. So I went about that the wrong way. But we learn, right? We live and learn, and we can put it back together the other way. So we've got these skiff bearings installed. Put our pivot back through. This is not a captive pivot, so I do have my skiff finger bit in case I need it. But let's check. I know these are quarter inch, but let's see if these are going to be. Nope, those aren't going to actually fit. Let's see. All right, guys. Plan B. I've got more washers. They're not those. Let's see what these are like. These are the 3 sixteenths. This is what I think they might be. Yes, they are 3 sixteenths. All right, guys. So, they're not quarter inch, they are 3 sixteenths. Just check the thickness, 1 16th, 1 16th, very, very tight tolerance, which is good. So what I'm going to do, since I've got this thing disassembled, is I'm going to give it a quick little cleaning. Just with a keep you clean and white and a little rubbing alcohol. I'm just going to clean out my little detent ball, my little bearing track. And guys, this is an experiment. As y'all know, I'm kind of a bearing dude. So I'm sure I've heard that these feel great. I'm doing it for science. Whoops. That was close. I'm doing this for science to see how it works out, right? That's kind of the goal, is to give it a try and report back to you guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my pivot in. And then I'm going to get some silicamol. Let 
clean my screw off real quick. Clean off my blade. All right. Now let's get some of Brother Justin at OCD for EDCs. Slick them all and start with a little slick them all on our scale. And you guys know me, I overuse. Don't be like me. You don't have to use that much. But I am going to put some on my pivot barrel. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to put some, just a couple little globs on my washer. Take my stop pin out, put it over here since I'm putting it back together the other way. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this, slick them all, put it in that detent ball. Just a tiny little bit on the ball. This is overkill, guys, but that's just how I roll. Justin's probably screaming if he's watching the video at me for being an idiot, but he knows me. He knows I come by it honestly. All right. I'm not exactly sure. How this party is going to go down, guys. I will tell you. Momentarily. As I drop shit. out of the net I've got very very tight tolerance there there we go All right. so what I need to do first is just get my pivot in a little loose but just get it to where it's holding All right, then I need to get my barrel back in here. Whoops. My barrel back in here. And get my body screw lined up. Which is currently not. Bear with me. Using my slick em all tip as a little battering ram. Not very effectively, but we do what we gotta do. All right. Let's get these set up, lined up. Screw them down, but not super, super tight because we don't know what we're gonna have yet. I'm gonna put my finger bit in here like so so I can tweak that down make sure I don't have any play dead nuts a little tight take just a hair off that pivot Guys, we now have our McNeese Mac 2 running on phosphorus bronze skiff thick washers. 
with some slick em all and I can already tell you it's rock solid feels like a different knife feels like my strider kinda or a hinderer on washers so yeah guys this experiment might last longer than I anticipated Tighten it down just a little more and see if that's, that's really tight. But I think it'll break in. There we go. So guys, I will call that mission accomplished. We will lift that ride for the day. And uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining, educational, informative, helpful. You know, or just I'm glad you're here. Guys, that is the McNeese 3.5. Skiff thick washers. I'll put a link to them in the description. You can use your fine 10, save 10%. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Please, please, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart and choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.